Hey guys, it's Julia here, and today I'm making a quick video because there were some new updates released for Windows 11 today. Now this checked before the updates were released because they were released around 11 a.m. my time, and it checked at 10.56 a.m. So this is an older update, a preview update. However, if you installed this, you would have gotten the new features early, which are the ones I'm going to be talking about in this video. So if I show you guys the page, this was from October 18th, 2022. And it was basically a blog post that Microsoft made. I'll leave a link in the description. This blog post talks about some new features that were released in Windows 11. And the biggest one, which was the tabs update, which were there were tabs in File Explorer. And it was really awesome, really cool because you could switch between them. And I will show you guys as long as my Explorer doesn't lock up again because my Explorer keeps having this issue, as you guys can see on my screen where it keeps locking up, although I think it was doing that before the tabs update, so it's just something to do with that. But you could just make new tabs, and it's really useful. I know these are all the same, but I'll show you in the VM. So that was the biggest thing, and there are some other features. However, I didn't find Task Manager in the right-click menu. I'm not sure why, but it's just not there for me. I really don't know why, though. But. We're going to check for updates because we don't need to install this one. This one's out of date now because this is the one from October. Since today is Patch Tuesday, aka the second Tuesday of the month, which is when Microsoft releases updates, that means that the tabs update is now available to everyone that's on Windows 11 version 22H2. Yes, you do have to be on 22H2 to get the update. So if you open up Run and you go to Windsor, if you're on Windows 11 version 22H2, then you're able to get the update. Now, I'm on 22621.674. That does not have the tabs. You have to be on, I believe, .675 or newer to get the tabs. Although, I'm just gonna update this to the latest because there were new updates today. I don't know what the dot number is because I haven't actually installed the update yet. You can see that it's downloading right now. So, yeah, and I'm gonna go over to my main system here. Even though I already have the tabs update, I'm still going to check for updates on my main system as well, so that way we could get the updates on here too. Even though I already have it, but that's just because there was updates and it might fix my explore bug, so that's why I'm checking for updates right now. But this is just a video briefly mentioning that there was a new feature that was released in Windows 11, and this new feature is pretty cool actually. You guys can see the difference. I'm on dot .755 on my main system because I installed the preview update. I believe there was two preview updates. There was dot .675 and then dot .755. I did both of them, but those included it. However, this update is released to everyone. It's not a preview or anything like that. So basically the feature is getting rolled out to everyone now. And I couldn't find this task manager thing. Maybe it will be in this update. I'm not sure. And suggestions of actions. I never saw that either. So maybe some of these are different. And like the Amazon apps. I haven't actually checked for all these features, honestly. But yeah, I see something about the Photos app be begun rolling out an update. So that probably adds some of the new features to the Photos app. I'm not sure if you have to actually have the newer cumulative update to get it or not, but I will leave this in the description. So I'm going to let this VM do the update and when it's done, I'll reboot it and then I will show you guys the new feature real fast. All right, so the update wants to reboot. Now just to confirm, this VM does not have the tabs feature at all. It doesn't have it, as you guys can see, it's not there. And my main system actually wants to reboot, but I already have the tabs feature because I updated the preview update on mine. Now, the reason I decided to wait to make a video on this is I wanted to wait until it was officially released to everyone and not a preview, because that way people are able to get the actual update instead of the one in the preview. So that's why I decided to wait on this. Plus I made the video on 22H210, which I did briefly talk about it in that video in a section, but I wanted to wait on the actual video. So I've also been really busy with school. So that's another reason. So anyway, I'm going to let this update and I'll come back when it's at the desktop. All right, guys. So I had to do something, but the VM updated. So let's open up settings and confirm that it updated. 
and I will also open up the file explorer and you guys will see we now finally have the tabs and also the new file explorer with like home and this and stuff. Now, if you don't like this, I know there's a way to actually disable it, which you could just Google around to disable certain things you might not like. However, yeah, it's up to date. We got the features. I can open like downloads, for example, and then pictures, and then I can open videos and you could see we could just cycle through them. I could open another one. Now you actually can move files across if you hover over and do that. And I gotta wait for the PM thing to go away. But then I could drag it back. So you actually can do that as well. So you can move files around that way. However, the only thing is that it only appears down here as like one instead of multiple. However, I'm not sure if that's like a good or bad thing. What do you guys think about that? Do you think they should also appear down here if you have tabs or no? Leave a comment on your opinion. But that's basically the main feature. I see we still don't have task manager on the right click menu and it mentioned it does, but maybe that will be in another future update. We know it's gonna be on the way eventually, so that's a good thing. But anyway, that's gonna wrap up this quick video. Just go in your settings, Windows update, and you can check for updates here and get the tabs update. Note, you do have to have 22H2 installed. And actually, let's see the dot number. So the tabs update, 22621.819. Now you might have it before if you did a preview update, but this one is not preview. So this is the actual official update that everyone's gonna get automatically if you have auto updates or if you go check for updates, it should install. And also it has security improvements because they always do security updates as well on Patch Tuesday. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Just a brief video, probably get it up later today. So anyways, let me know what you guys think of the features and what features you see there or not because some of the features that were listed in that blog don't seem to exist, but I know the tabs one does. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and bye-bye for now.